On air and online, you're listening to Thursday mornings around Orkney from the BBC. Right now, the time rapidly approaching 22 minutes to eight. And a new report says if we don't act now to mitigate coastal erosion at the Bay of Scale, archaeologists need to start planning to dig up and move the whole of the Neolithic village of Scarabray if the seawall protecting the site should be breached. In the meantime, the research just published by the Centre of Expertise for Waters says those defences need urgent repair and that we should be enhancing the beach effectively to reclaim land back from the sea. Dr Alistair Rennie from Nature Scott is one of the authors of the research. Scarabray has been exposed to erosion through most of its existence and certainly we've been aware of it over the last hundred years as a modern society. So erosion and scarabray are intimately linked. But we have been successful over the last hundred years or so in holding the sea back immediately adjacent to the Neolithic village and that's been very successful. But that's come at a cost for the beach in front and the dunes adjacent to uh, the Neolithic, Neolithic village. And so that investment that Historic Environment Scotland and, uh, and partners have been putting in to the site has paid off. And the work that we, we've done here looks at different futures. And it says under a high emissions future, we can expect bigger risks. Under a lower emissions future, we can have lower risks. And we need to plan accordingly. But you do say that risks to the site remain and that if the seawall is breached, then planning for an emergency relocation of the remains of Scarabray should be done. Yes, and, 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 and that's, that's a statement of the obvious, and the managers at Scarabray are aware of that. You know, Historic Environment Scotland have been investing in that seawall over the last few generations, uh, and, and the investment is increasing. Uh, to make sure that the, the wall remains intact. But, but the, the what-if scenario is, is an important question that needs to be posed so that we look realistically at all of the scenarios and then make sure that we're investing in the right way to make sure that doesn't happen. So what you're saying is in the short to medium term, we need to beef up that seawall. But in the long term, we need to enhance the beach to try and build up land in front to reverse the encroachment of the sea and protect the site, the whole site that way. Is, is that your preferred option then, rather than the headline grabbing threat that we might have to dig up Scarabray and move it? Well, the digging up Scarabray and moving it is practically very, very hard to do, and let alone from a from a policy perspective. It's it's supposed to be protected in situ uh, under under law. But the um, the composite approach that we're trying to take here is actually the same as the management approach we'd have across other bits of Scotland. There are bits of our society that we we hold very, very dear, and we have to protect as they are at the moment. Now that's Scarabray. It may also be the city of Dundee's shorefront. It may be other, it may be Grangemouth for various different reasons. There are bits of our of society's assets that are very, very valuable and they're right on the coastal edge. We have to maintain them in their current location and that will involve more expensive, uh, bigger, broader, better and higher seawalls. But that assumption that we should then roll that policy approach out across the rest of the country, I would challenge. And I think the science tells us very clearly that we need to pick our fights when it comes to climate change. There are places where we will want to invest in those defences, but there are other places where we need to become sea level wise. And if there's places that actually we shouldn't be spending money and building sea walls, and actually we're better investing in nature's defences, then we should go and do that. And clearly you've picked Bay of Scale because of Scarabray, because of the heritage, the value of that site, the unique value of that site. But as you've hinted there, this is much wider, isn't it? It's a human story as well as a heritage story. And even in the Bay of Scale, there are houses, there's a road, there's the Kirk. So it's a community as well as uh, our past. Absolutely. There are six super sites across the country that we've, that we've investigated. Scarabray and Bay of Scale is only one of them. 
we've looked into the, the links at St Andrews, we looked at the island of Tyree uh, and many others, and you can see those on dynamiccoast.com. The key thing there is that whilst we have done the science and the monitoring and the, the modelling of future change, the key part next is how that can better inform decision making, the development of plans. And of course, in doing that, it's essential we work with local authorities and with local landowners and communities to make sure that Scotland remains resilient with the increasing threat of climate change. Dr Alistair Rennie from Nature Scott, that website he mentioned, dynamiccoast.com. We'll pull a link to the Bay of Scale report on the Radio Orkney Facebook page. In response to all of that, Historic Environment Scotland told us the section of the crew report that suggests digging up Scarabray to save it is contingency planning in the event of a major storm breaching the seawall. A spokesperson told us that the presumption would be in favour of maintaining Scarabray in situ. They added that the new report will help with the development of a new management plan for the heart of Neolithic Orkney.